Hi, I'm Bramble Ghost, and welcome to this week's video. Today I wanted to show you how I made this guy. It is a cute little bag inspired by the bomb bags from Zelda. And I also just wanted to show you this little cutie here. Okay, so let's let's get on with it. Huh? You ready? You ready? Bomb flowers are heavy and in order for them to be carried, they need both a sturdy structure as well as proper airflow to keep the bombs fresh. That's why a crocheted lower structure is best for storage. We do one single crochet, then single crochet two together in the round for about six rounds and the last two rounds for the bottom are just single crochet. To make the walls, I did a double crochet in one round, then a few more rounds of single crochet. Now close it off and then we're on to the next step. To find the right spot to embroider, I pinned the fabric to the bottom, then measured and cut the fabric, adding seam allowance. With that, I could find out where the middle was and how big I could make the image. I took a screenshot of the bomb flower and made a loose sketch on my iPad using the mirroring assist on the canvas. I chose to use the bomb flower instead of the original image because I thought it was much cuter and would pay more respects to the plant rather than just its fruit since the Gorons treasure the bomb flower so much. The sun is going down so I'm going to do a little bit of work off camera and I will show you what's going on on day two. So this is the progress that I made last night. Let's see, today is actually a really nice day outside so I wanted to take you with me and we can go sit outside and enjoy the sun while it's here. Okay, so I ironed it and sewed the sewed it together. And now I'm going to attach it to its bottom. 
So she's pretty much finished. I have to attach cordage here. I'm gonna run like a little inseam or inside tube area. I don't even know what that's called, but basically a space where I can put cordage inside. And this cordage I made by hand. I learned how to make this from Morgan Donner. She's this really amazing dress historian who makes videos here on YouTube. Yeah, let's finish the bag. So what I could do is sew with my sewing machine and I have this super ancient Edwardian era sewing machine. It still is rusty and it's a little bit unpredictable so I'm excited to get a, a more modern machine in the future. I don't know where my safety pin is so I'm just gonna try and use this bobby pin. It's finished! I'm super happy about it. I love it. I can't wait to fill it up with stuff and I really am excited to make a lot more of these. I love the way that it turned out. I'm super, super, super proud of this and I love this cord. It's so pretty. Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm just really happy. So what I want to do with this is I want to create the pattern for it and be able to share this pattern with everyone if anybody's interested in making a little bomb bag of their own. I haven't finished the pattern since finishing this video, so I, you have to be on the lookout. I guess that's the perfect time to say please like and subscribe if you want to see more of this. That's it! Uh, I hope you have a good day and thank you very much for watching. Yeah, that's it!